Hello and so are Cap from J Enjoy Adventures. We're currently in Chiang Mai and today is Sunday, so we're gonna go to the Sunday walking street. Now we did try and go last week, but it kind of started storming on us, so we decided to come home. <laughs> it was um, it was raining a lot around Bangkok and then I think the storm sort of started moving up a little bit. We kinda of, we yeah, we were driving and we felt the the wind kind of pushing it in. Um, so yeah, that was fun. We just decided we weren't in the mood to get wet, so. So we thought we'll push it, go next week, and here we are, and today's weather is so much better. I mean, it's sunny, blue skies, and it was 39 degrees pretty much all day. So it's really hot. Very hot. But it is the evening now, which is when the walking street sort of opens. So yeah, I mean, when I went outside earlier, it said it was 37, so it's a bit of an improvement. <laughs> yeah. The bike makes it a lot more bearable, um, yeah. and it's not been raining today, so even though it's hot, it shouldn't be too unbearable because there's not too, too much moisture in the air. Yeah, usually by the evening anyway, even when it's sort of feeling a bit humid, it still feels just a bit more comfortable just because the sun's going in a little bit. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, this walking street, we did go last year and we really liked it. It's honestly so huge. It's because massive. You, you spend a good couple hours there just walking around. To easily, be honest. easily. And even in places where it doesn't split off properly, there's still sort of random streets where it's sort of just oh, yeah. extra markets, extra markets sort of it, thing. Yeah, parking can be a little bit of a pain around there though is the only yeah. thing because they close off the entire street and everyone's going. But I think getting there sometimes can just be a bit annoying so I'd always just say like get dropped off a street before because yeah. all the tuk-tuks are all piled in front of it and the song towels and motorbike taxis like everything Definitely. is just piled there anyway so yeah if you're parking park a couple of streets away getting dropped off a couple of streets away just stop because even just to get close, you'll be stuck in traffic for like 15 minutes. Definitely. So, yeah. But yeah, we're gonna head on out and show you what we find. The sun is still out. This is just outside and that's our pool. The sun is just there. It is absolutely boiling. This is just the grounds outside our place here and it's very nice. We absolutely love the pool. We've come across this like scooter bike. So you can, but you can take a passenger as well. I don't think you can actually stand on that though because the handles look pretty low. But this is the first one of these I've ever seen before. We've just arrived. Well, the market's a little bit further on. It's just on the road. But, we're, um, we're basically here. Yeah, we found a space. After mentioning all the parking, we ended up in our own debacle, but we did manage to park the bike just along this random wall. And we're here. It is so <laughs> hot. We were stuck in some traffic and just the thickness of the heat. Honestly, oh, so I think the worst part is the fact that even driving the bike, there wasn't any cool air. The whole air everywhere is just hot. You're just driving it into was, hot air. It literally just felt like sitting in front of a fire when you feel like the, the breath of the fire sort of thing in your yeah. face. So we're, I think the first thing we're going to need is a drink. As you can see, there is lots of stuff. Lots of kind of artsy stuff. These are magnets and keychains. There's the twisted potato over there. Oh, wind chimes. Oh, they're nice. Okay. Here is one of the kind of oh, off, the food section. off bits. Food bits. We've just come across this little arts stand and it's... I don't know if you can just see the detail in it. It's absolutely amazing. Here's all the little small ones. There is loads of massaging, like signs and all along down there is massage. Here is a sign for another food center just that way. I think we're gonna carry on with the main street for now. We've come across a little crystal stand and there is absolutely loads. So I've picked up one of these blue elephants. And Jay's got one of these red dragons. So it's just in a box and they wrapped it with loads of bubble wraps. So fingers crossed, it's gonna be fine. We have come to get another essential. What have we got? Katie. <laughs> 
there is more Thai massage just along the back wall over there. So if you want a Thai massage, come here. We've just come across a little dream catcher stand and they're so nice. Yeah, they've got mini ones and they've got big ones and wind chime ones at the back there. They're really nice. lanterns are really nice so we've got some like sweet potato deep fried balls that's what they say they are well that's what they're made of sweet potato do you like it i assume it's sweet potato kind of mashed with glutinous rice flour and then made in these balls and deep fried these are really nice bookmarks i'm gonna get one so I got this little necklace with an elephant on it and I've got this bookmark. These are so cool. These are all hand carved as well. I'm going to get a green fan so that has been spun around in ice. It's going to be a slushy. Do you like them? They're cool. Yeah. <laughs> Here is our slushy green fanta. Let's see your three for 100. These are like necklaces and anklets and stuff. Looks like we are in the art section. There's loads of little stands where you can get like drawings done of you. Look at all of these. This is so pretty. So there's a temple just here as well. So we've just come out of 7-Eleven. We got some water and we got one of these, or at least I did. But we're just carrying on walking now. Something smelled very strongly of incense just now. I couldn't I see where it was like coming incense from. Incense stands, I think, where they sell like all the colored ones and stuff. Yeah. Oh, they got these like bowl things here. So one of the exits. So one of. So down this road is full of loads of art. Like all the way down. Crazy. So uh, across the road here we've got more massage and here we've got even more really really cool art. So if you want art or for massage come to the night come to the Sunday walking street in Chiang Mai. Loads of dried fruit and stuff. More woodcraft. Here's one of the little random streets they sort of branches onto. Some shirts. And lots of silver there. Purses. It's like full print animal <laughs> stuff. And it's actually low-key realistic, like not, you know, like it looks kind of 3D. It's real loud right now, but we found some mini elephant keychains. We found this, it's a walking street map. So Very as useful. you can see, it literally starts up here in zone 6. You can go that way, go that way, come back down, that way, 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 and that is That's the end down there. That, that is it's really huge. We've spotted a little paddle fan place that's selling some for 10 baht. So we're gonna grab one because we need to cool down. Yeah, we just found we just found this place. The guy is dressed he is dedicated. as he's dressed as Spider-Man, like fully. And basically, so it is a pancake art place. We're gonna get one because it looks super cool. We need to pick pattern. Yeah. We got it. Oh, it's hot. Okay. okay, it's hot. He put it in a bag, which is really nice. He's just here. He's right at the top of the walking street next to all of this. He has good vibes. If you want to come and see him, he's there got is, great vibes. Here is the stitch. He's dressed as Spider Man, so I assume he does that most days. I love that. Here, that stitch is so cute. We've come across a little canvas place, and these are 100 each. So we're grabbing one for ourselves, but they are absolutely beautiful. They've got more art sort of along the top as well and like bigger canvases. We've just come back to our accommodation. As you can see, <laughs> we're I, had still, to, I had to get changed. <laughs> we're still really hot. This is a little paddle fan that we got for 10 baht. 
and it's it, it does, does the job. It does the job. We walked the whole market. Um, so if it would just show everything that we got, we got a couple little bits. We got a few little bits. Actually. This obviously being one of them. <laughs> So I got this bookmark that I did show. It's like basically a sort of hand chiseled into metal. I got this little necklace that has an... Oh, wait. You're not going to be able to see it very well. Oh, I think so. It has a little elephant just in the middle and it just goes around, obviously, my neck. And yeah, it's really cute. And I got a classic shell necklace. This was literally... How much was this? Oh, wait. It was 89 baht. Yeah, this shell necklace was 89, but I ended up getting like a for few 80. baht. Oh, yeah, I ended up getting it for 80. Um, so yeah, and these are the ones where like the straps are adjustable as well. And, oh yeah, and this necklace. Um, 130. Yeah, the lady was selling for 150, but I did get it for 130, but yeah. She was very nice as well. I got this anklet. It's got like blue crystals on it and a little elephant on it and an, a little bell. And I got this. For, this was 69, but I ended up getting it for about 65. This I bought at the same stand as the shell necklace lately. Now, despite appearances, this is not alcohol. <laughs> oh, distilled, okay. I don't know why, but that's the, these are the little crystal animals that we got. Yeah, so we got a crystal dragon and a crystal elephant, and they were 55 each or two for 100. So we got two. But it is packaged up. These are not these are not coming out until we get yeah. home. So we've then bubble wrapped in there as well. But I'm really glad that he actually put it in a box and didn't just like chuck it in a bag. And and bubble wrap the box. That sort of thing. Um, but yeah, so that was 100 for both of those. And I got this dress. <gasps> it's just like a summery dress, basically. It just looks like it's that. It's cute. Yeah. Um, I got this for 250, but apparently they sell them for 350, but I don't know how true <laughs> that is. But I got it for two fifty anyway, so it's not too bad. And we got a pound cake. Oh, no. yes, these. Yeah, the last thing we got. If we, we can open it. So here is our scroll. We actually got two because we got one, and then we looked at something else, and we were like, "That's really nice," and we ended up getting two. <laughs> yeah, so we got one, and then we just saw some of the other paintings. We we're like, "Oh, actually, that's really nice." So the first one we got is this. It's a, little, it's a little elephant one. Yeah, it's really cute. So we chose, they had a few different variations that we liked this one the most. So like sunset and a little blue and like the, the lake sort of thing. That's so nice. This smaller size, this was a hundred. And then we got this one. Which is very large. Which is actually, yeah, it's decently but. big. This was 150. And I'm pretty sure this is a painting of James Bond Island because of this little thing right there. Yeah. But yeah. We really liked them, so we picked those up. But I think that's a really good price as well, though. Two fifty. What's that? Four. Six no, five. Pounds. Six. Yeah, six twenty-five ish. Yeah, for both of these together, like insane. Yeah. Yeah, so I think the Chiang Mai Sunday Market is best for like art, trinkets. Definitely. Um, if you want anything sort of handmade and like very Thai, you know, like. Type silks and scarves and like yeah they stuff have loads like of that. Yeah. silk scarves and cashmere and all this stuff definitely loads the best of, place to get yeah it. loads of elephant trousers and stuff as well oh yeah 100%. Loads. loads of like linen clothes and things like that as well yeah, um definitely. but yeah we yeah very happy and it actually has a little sign it's actually signed right there as well um i assume by the person who painted it can i see what that says it says Chana Than Thailand. Chana Than Thailand. Yeah, so both of them are signed just in the corner. But just just appreciate that, like it looks so good. This is gonna look I so mean, good on a wall. To be honest, from this angle and from the frame, it looks like it could be a picture. Yeah, like Yeah. It yeah. looks they are really, really nice. The other thing the market's good for obviously is Thai massages, like Every everywhere, single part everywhere. Of the street. Um, we actually we, we got a little shot of the actual map of the walking street, but at pretty much each like crossing, 
there was someone there with a sign saying Thai massage with prices. And there was just like... Well, just along the street as you walk as well. Just a like, bunch of people splayed out in different massage, seats getting their massages. massages. Thai massages. <laughs> but yeah, if you are coming to Chiang Mai, we definitely recommend going to the walking street on the Sunday. Absolutely. It's just a really good experience. And again, you're, you're going to find something I think that you like, whether it's jewellery, a bit of art, or like just anything. Oh yeah, it's definitely. Just, it's, it's got so much like to see. Just beware that it is genuinely really busy like hard to move sometimes busy yeah, but that as, yeah as is the thing as is the case with most weekend and especially sunday markets yeah. they're always super busy because they are only open on the weekend on the sunday so yeah so just just be just know that basically that it is just really busy and it is quite hot because of all the stands and everything yeah so just take your time have lots of fluids and yeah i think i think everyone would have a good time there to be honest absolutely yeah, yeah. but anyway we're gonna end this one here we've had a very long and hot day yeah. um but we hope you guys have enjoyed and if you have be sure to go down below hit that like button and if you did enjoy make sure to go down below hit the subscribe button consider hitting the bell icon never miss a video from us until next time, we'll see you very soon.